Okay, moving outside the body. This is gonna be our third video. And uh, l let's keep going, because we're gonna f keep following the charge. And the way we do that is with these electrodes. And these electrodes are really cool, because the only major part that we really need to know about them is the silver chloride, the silver and silver chloride sensor that's in most of these electrodes. Because what happens is that, you know, it wraps itself around these silver chloride ions and, and atoms to create redox reactions. And so these redox reactions, as most of you know, if you guys remember chemistry, they move charge. So we're actually transducing charge, we're moving charge uh, from the patient into these electrodes and then moving them through uh, wires uh, connected to these, to these electrodes to our graphing uh, computer inside of our ECG. And that's how it works. So it's, it's this basic model of we're looking at potential through the cell, through the skin, moving it through potential through redox reactions, through electrodes, and then through a recording in, and then recording it inside our 12 lead machine, your monitor or whatever. It has programs that read the differences in charge, and that's what these redox are. It shows a difference in charge. So we can see that the charge from the cell goes to the skin, goes to the electrode, and then goes to the monitor. And that's about all the time we're gonna spend on the electrode because what's important about this are the four, six, and 12 leads that we can do in the field. Now the first are the dirty half dozen, and you get those through a normal four lead. And the way you get those is through augmentation, and we'll get to that in a second. But what you need to remember, what you guys need to know, is the way to put them on, and everybody normally knows how to do this, snow over trees, smoke over fire. It's really easy to remember, but what's important about it is understanding that the snow, your right arm one, it has two negative charges attached to that electrode lead. And then the left arm one, the smoke, has a positive and negative charge, and then the fire one, the red one, has a uh, positive and positive and the right one is your ground one stay really grounded with the trees man but that's how that's how it works and that's how i remember it it's really easy to understand but now let's get into a, a part of it that, that some people have trouble with and trouble understanding so i i really want to hit this one hard so when we look at an ekg paper and we're going through lead one all the way through avf or uh, uh, when we look at the EKG paper, we are actually looking at a picture taken, a picture taken at a direct angle or a specific angle through the heart, right? So we're watching these, these cells fire with inside the heart. Those firing cells are transferring a potential that's going into our EKG electrode. It's being transferred to our computer, right? Now this computer is taking a picture this way through lead one. It's going from the positive to the negative electrode and we're watching this potential travel downward at this angle through the heart. So that's the that's how we're looking at it. We're looking at it going this way through the heart. And I just and that, that's really really important. The most important lead is lead 2. And the reason that people think that it's the most important is because it gives you the best angle at the heart. We're looking at the base of the heart or the apex of the heart right down here where those left and right ventricles sit and we're we're looking at it through that angle so we could really get a good idea of the ion tracings and how they're correlating to muscle movement. And that's, that's how we look at this. That's how we look at these, the, this, this angle. Now the last one that's sort of this pure angle from, from the dirty half dozen is the uh, lead three. And we're actually looking a little bit backwards on lead three, but we're still getting a good idea on how this is firing. So remember, Cells are normally firing from here to here if we don't have any, you know, uh, other factors like uh, life, Wolf, Wolf, Parkinson, White, or automaticity going through other parts of the cell, uh, cells in our myocardium. It normally fires in this, in this direction. So let's go to the other set, which is why it's called the dirty half dozen, because these are augmentation leads. These are the exact reason that we have these two different, uh, you know, uh, electrical 
uh, current, current flowing through here because we can augment them to take in these two nodes. Remember, this one's positive and negative. We can augment them to travel this direction, and then we can take a snapshot from this angle. Now, AVR is really ones that a lot of people discount, but uh, you could use them, uh, you can use it as a, as a, as a tool to, for diagnosis in a bunch of different things. So it really shouldn't be thrown out the window, you know, just, just by association. But as you can notice, look, it, 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 everything is sort of backwards because we're when we look at the firing, it's firing in this direction, but we're looking at it firing in that direction as well. So everything just sort of comes out backwards. That's why a lot of people don't really, don't really like it, but it has a lot of use in a lot of different ways. AVL, again, an augmentation lead that utilizes these two. And look, these two negative now are over here, and now we're looking at it through this, this arena. It's a, it's a lot like uh, lead three, but look at the amplitude on this. It's, it's a very, very odd placement of, of this photograph we're trying to take of the heart and its, and its correlation with the ions flowing in this direction. Now, uh, lastly is, is AVF, and this is closely correlated to, um, to lead two, and it's, and it's utilized in the diagnosis of, of myocardial infarctions that correlate with specific areas of the heart like uh, that we'll see in the precordial leads. So understand that these snapshots of, of these, of, excuse me, of these, um, you know, of these dirty six are really important to understand, you know, how am I, how am I looking at the heart? How am I, you know, understanding which side of the heart is, is actually being looked at right now? Because when we get into the precordial leads, it's easy. It's, it's, it's incredibly easy, right? There's no augmentation with those precordial leads. It's just taking a snapshot of the heart directly uh, in front of it. But these ones have to use augmentation and, and computer modulation to be able to take unique pictures of the heart. So really sort of practice and understand which, you know, these little photographs and snapshots that you're taking of these EKGs and how we're looking at the heart. And we will dive more into this in upcoming videos. All right, I, I think that ends it for the dirty half dozen. Let's get ready for the clean dozen.